All right, hey guys, let's take a look at the easy fade away. It does just what it says on the tin, uh, makes things fade away. So I've got it right now on this percussion loop. Let's have a look. As I bring it up, you can hear things, um, the reverb and delays coming in. You can hear the EQ changing, it's getting darker and also more high pass to the point where it almost, almost disappears. You might think this sounds a little bit like the Easy Washout, which you probably already know, the one I gave away for free a while ago, um, but it differs. Because I found with the Easy Washout, um, it's great for build-ups, but watch what happens when I start bringing it in. All the reverbs and things are quite big. They actually get just as loud, if not louder. So it's great for making things bigger, but when you stop it, it's abrupt, whereas the fade away makes it subtly disappear. Great for a situation like this, if you had a, uh, kind of like more pads and stuff and you want to just like your percussion to disappear in the background and the focus to come onto something else rather than having to automate all that stuff you just do it with one knob like that I've found that super useful for times especially when I have uh, percussion rolling into a breakdown and I want to make it slowly disappear so that when it kicks back in again I get the full contrast of um, the percussion and it sounds extra you know, make it sound bigger than it really is. Um, and just like the Easy Washout, I've set this one up too, so that when you turn it, uh, as soon as it hits one, it turns all the plugins on. And when it's back on zero, it's on off. So it's, um, no sound is gonna run through it. So it's a completely clean signal path. You, you find to put that on your master bus or anywhere, it's not gonna color the sound of your tracks. So that's the Easy Fade Away. Enjoy.